An Amarillo family is picking up the pieces after their house on South On caught fire on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. I'm Judd Baker. That fire ruining a large portion of the inside of that home and killing multiple pets. KAMR Local Force Jack Kessler spoke with the family on the incident and how they're working to recover. It's topping our news tonight at 10. And it just filled up with black smoke like fast and it was just really hot in there because everything is ruined and melted and trying our hardest to get the smoke smell out of our clothes that did survive. Tina and Todd Burris along with Tina's mother and stepfather are asking what's next after a devastating house fire Tuesday caused by a faulty radiator heater. The Burris says they weren't able to salvage much from the home. Everything is covered in that soot, I guess that's what you call it. Everything electronics broke in, um, all their cooking, uh, crock pot, uh, instapot, um, everything's pretty much run. We have a couple of uh, pans, that are, that the copper pans that are, that are salvageable. Everything's black, we, we don't know until we, get, until we go through it more. Since the fire, the Burrises says they've been helped by the American Red Cross and First Baptist Church. They, they gave us some money and set us up where we could go to Motel 6 and, and stay there until we, so we can try to clean up what we can and huh, try to clean and uh, we, we try to salvage whatever we could, not much, um, but they, they, they supplied us with money and uh, found us, you know, temporary accommodations. The Burrises also adds that they are blown away by the generosity of their neighbors asking what they can do to help. We're just very grateful for everybody that's helped us so far. Yeah, and our neighbors have been wonderful. I, I, we've got not a single bad neighbor. Everybody's offered to help in some way. Currently, the Burrises are staying with at a family friend's home and so they can make the repairs on the street or the house on Ong Street. The Burrises said they're grateful for everything that they have done. Live in studio, Jack Kessler, KMR Local 4 News. Judd? All right, Jack, thank you. We've got a GoFundMe set up for the rebuilding of that home. Someone has set that up, rather. You can find a link for that GoFundMe over on our website, myhighflames.com. We'll